Today we're looking at MATLAB's new AI Chat Playground that they just introduced online. To access the playground, head over to mathworks.com, load their main webpage, go ahead and sign into your account. Yes, my initials are PP, I had a very fun childhood. Go to Community tab, and then AI Chat Playground, and it will open up the interface for you to use. The first thing I noticed is that this model is only trained on information before June 2021. I did some quick Google searching, which confirmed my suspicions. ChatGPT 3.5 is the model that's using information prior to June of 2021. To me, this would seem that the AI Playground is really just a wrapper around the GPT 3.5 API that already exists, with maybe a little bit of secret MATLAB sauce on top. Which, by the way, totally fine. Personally, I'm looking at this from a perspective of this isn't a MATLAB product, this is just a MATLAB interface to help you get access to ChatGPT. So take the results with a grain of salt. Here are seven ways that I've used ChatGPT and other generative AI throughout my coding career. We can't cover all of these today, but I will be using some of these prompts to test out MATLAB's AI Chat Playground. Let's dive into the actual playground. Here we can see on the left we have the chat that will accept our prompts here in the send message window. On the right we have the live script editor. And in the top left we've got options to clear the chat editor and both. Let's just start with one of the initial prompts that it's giving us here. How about we solve a linear equation and let's see how it does. Here it's given us a response and we can easily click either the copy button here or the insert code which will push it over to the live editor on the right, and then we can go ahead and run this code. And here we see an immediate answer. Let's clear this and run something that I wanna run. In this example, I asked for some novel code generation. Just write me a script that can load a file and then create a scatter plot of the X and Y data. And you can see it did so right here. Pretty straightforward. I've noticed that AIs are really good with simple tasks and few lines, and they tend to get confused the more complex the ask is. I also followed up with a theory question about MATLAB and the language. What other functions do exist to read Excel files? Here it provided a couple examples with the XLS read, read table, and the read matrix, and then gave an example of how to use that. Again, pretty good standard overview of what the capabilities here are. Another useful application is taking someone else's code and throwing it into the AI and asking it to explain. So here I'm taking some code from a project I did with a friend. We're gonna go ahead and just paste that straight into the chat window and then ask, can you please explain the code line by line? And here we see the AI chat playground has given us a reasonable answer of what the code is actually doing. I found this very useful, especially when I'm getting familiar with new code bases or new approaches to programming that I haven't seen before. I was also curious if it could do code conversion, going from Python code into MATLAB code, and was pleased to see that it took the challenge on readily and then pumped out a function that did just what I asked it to do. I was then curious if this MATLAB expert would go the other way. So I had it plot a noisy sinusoid in MATLAB, which it did willingly here. And you can see the results in the live editor on the right. And then I asked it to convert that code into Python. Its initial response seemed negative because it was apologizing and saying it couldn't do Python. But then it proceeded to actually write a code snippet in Python. So I'm not sure exactly what the MATLAB filter was that was put on this, but it seems to be working in multiple languages without a problem. I also wanted to test the ability for the chat playground to troubleshoot and handle errors. So here I've got a very obvious error going on where I extend the index beyond the number of values that exist in the variable vals. I'm going to copy this over into the chat window and ask it to be updated to be a correct and non-error prone script. I also recommend that you provide the specific error that you are getting to help hold the hand of the AI. Here we see a new recommendation. I'm going to clear out the current window on the right, replace that with the new code, and then run this. And as you can see, it ran successfully. 
did a great job actually of replacing that hard-coded value of 10 with the length of the vals variable so that it can always run no matter what vals is. So decent for handling simple errors that you might encounter. Right now, I'm not sure if MATLAB's AI Playground really runs any better than what ChatGPT is doing online with their API. Uh, you can see I'm getting the same answer for that same problem. Again, these are very basic, so they're not super representative of the whole world of problems that you might be encountering. But I'd say as of right now, I'm not sure the overall gains of what uh, the MathWorks product has at this time. It is exciting to see them developing and pushing new things out. And hopefully with time, we'll see some improvements that'll make the MATLAB AI playground actually more beneficial than anything that's open on the market. That's all for now. Thank you for tuning in to this introduction to MATLAB's new AI chat playground.